Well, the other half of our team is live in Albany's Washington Park this morning as News 10 in your town continues. There's Christina, mm -hmm. Cassie, and Jill. Good morning, ladies. Christina, how's it looking out there? I know it's a little dark, but can you see any of the tulips? You know what? We've got enough light out here right now, thanks to our great crew, Steph and Ryan, that we can see how beautiful the tulips look. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's really going to brighten up. Oh, yeah. Once the uh, sun comes yep. out, woo, they're going to be uh, all those photos are going to be going. But it's beautiful. It, it feels is. nice. It feels really good. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit of a chill in the air, but mm -hmm. we know that's going to go away quickly. Yeah. And we're here among the tulips. This is the main event for the Tulip Fest. Oh, yeah. And this is a labor of love to make this all happen and to bring it all together and to make the tulips come to life each May. Cassie, you know all about it. Oh, yeah. It's a process I've been following for a while, Christina. Now, <laughs> it begins even before the first snowflakes even hit the ground. Yeah. Now, let's take a look back in the fall when that planting process all began. It all starts with a bulb. In fact, thousands of bulbs. So everyone is kind of shocked that we're doing tulips now. In November, Head City Gardener Jenna Comerford and her team were busy planting tulip bulbs around the city in preparation for the springtime tradition. So we actually have to wait until the ground temperature is about 55 to 50 degrees. So this warm November kept us on our toes a little. We're going to do these next. The tulips actually go through a whole biochemical process. I won't bore you with the details on that, but it goes through a whole process in the winter in order to grow and be the beautiful blooms that we're used to seeing in the spring. Each garden bed thoughtfully planned out. New varieties, new sizes, and new designs for an event rooted in tradition. So we have a lot of beds that would prefer to be seen as an aerial view. From the farmers in the Netherlands to the city staff and volunteers, many hands go into the finished product. There? Yeah. Okay, your knuckle to knuckle distance. Including those from one News 10 reporter. My fabulous staff, they're <laughs> surrounding us. We can't even see all of them right now. We've become like a little family, so it's great to have that dynamic when you're trying to get a big job done. Oh man, and they do such a great job do. every single year. This entire process turns into the beautiful display <laughs> of tulips that thousands of people across the region and outside the region really come to enjoy this weekend. And I was in the area yesterday. People are taking advantage every day. I know right? they the really weather's are. weather's been great. Mm -hmm. Why not get out here? And you heard from Albany's city gardener in the piece that Cassie put together. She's going to be stopping by around 6 this morning for a chat with Jill about all this festival has to offer with the main event being the tulips, as we mentioned. Yeah. All right, we need to get to Jill. Get a check of that forecast now. Yeah, thank you guys. And all that hard work certainly going to pay off for everyone who has had a hand in putting this year's festival together, right? Definitely.